All right, and I know you guys are here for this. A Montoya video about Star Citizen breaking funding records. We love to hear it. We watch the NFT videos about how you know good this one is, how bad that one is, and all that stuff. But the ultimate NFT video is Star Citizen breaking funding records. So here we go. Let's watch this. Hello, my friends. Welcome Hello, back friend. to the channel. I am looking at the crowdfunding development spreadsheet for Star Citizen. I can't wait for CitizenCon. I, I just want to give Montoya a, a big hug. I really can't. I can't wait. Like, Montoya is one of the people I cannot wait to just talk to out of everybody in the Star Citizen community now. The more videos that I watch, the more I like him. In where we see January, February, and March being the biggest January, February, and March in the history of How's the volume? this Little crowdfunding low, huh? oh, yeah, very project. Low. Where is this money coming from? Let's dig into that in a second. Before we do, I just want to take a quick look at what happened over the uh, April 1st celebration, which was uh, CIG went and made this little app called Mesha, and Mesha is like a dating app. So this is funny because a uh, it almost got me. I was like, that's stupid. Why would they do this thing? Ah, April Fool's. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, CIG, him. because you caught me in that. And I saw several other people actually pretty mad and upset that they wasted the time making a stupid thing like this, not realizing it was the April Fool's. And um, it's not actually called April Fool's. They call it Triggerfish. <laughs> so go to play.sc slash triggerfish to learn more about this in-game lore holiday Get nicely done triggerfish you caught nerd. Me on that so i want to talk about this with you guys today and i'm looking at the crowdfunding now as i've always said well i used to say a lot more than i used to now but i used to say back in 2015 and 16 that cig and star citizens ability to continue operations is highly dependent upon the ability of them to continue crowdfunding and we can never rely on that so you can never know if this project was ever going to make it or not it could <laughs> flop at any time but as Boy, time went on wrong. it became more and more apparent that this thing has a life of its own and when 2020 almost, came along and broke like it's i think he's gonna try to explain it but like do you guys agree it's like almost unexplainable at this point it's like nfts you can almost understand because people go into it like with the the grift mentality of i'm gonna buy this thing to make money off of it but star citizen I, like you can't really do that, I guess, unless you're a content creator. But the... I don't... It's wild. It's, like, basically unexplainable. And Montoya's probably going to do a really good job of explaining it here, way better than I could. But I feel like it's it's kind of unexplainable. Like, th this... The game plays so poorly. Looks amazing! And I guess that's where it comes from. The ships are so cool. But they don't feel like your own. It's a weird thing. Like I don't. I wish we can go to. I know it doesn't scale well, but that three hundred I sale with the the like custom interiors, making it your own, all that customization. It, it like almost doesn't make sense because all the ships are just carbon copies of each other. There's nothing about making it your own, especially in the interior, which is um. Like, we're going to have outposts, we're going to have those things, and those will be your homes. But isn't your ship really your home, you know, when, it, when you think about it in this game? All records. I think we all realized then that this is big. This, this is going to be something bigger than we ever thought. When oh, 2021 sure. came along. Nobody thought. And I remember this saying this, this to so many people. I said, don't expect this year to break records like last year. The same way where 2015 was bigger than 2016. No, sorry. 2016 was bigger than 2017. Like, don't expect every single year to be a record breaking year. There's only so many people in the space sim genre. There's only so many people interested in this type of game that you'll hit a, you'll get a peak somewhere. Uh, maybe you'll raise 50 million, 60 million a year, but I, you can't really get over that is what I thought. And boy, was I wrong. And boy, was I happy that I was wrong on that. Because what's happened here? And I think I know what's happened here. <laughs> it's interesting. Anyone who makes a comment, because it's, it's the first thing that came to my mind for a second, but it's so illogical. 
a lot of people don't want Star Citizen to make a lot of money because they think it will it'll force this like never ending development cycle to continue. But what people have to understand that if they didn't make this kind of money, the doors probably close or they have to go seek outside funding, which forces the game into, <clears throat> I don't know, the freelancer scenario, right? So I don't know if it's a, uh, if it would be a good thing, you want CIG to make this kind of ridiculous money. You just want them to allocate it in the ways that they kind of are now. Like, hey, get Squadron 42 out. We're putting everything into that right now so we can then focus on uh, the PU. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not immediately into Squadron 42 Chapter 2, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I think it's... A lot of people don't like where the money's being allocated necessarily, but... I think since 2020, I feel like I've been a lot happier with priorities than I was in these years. I just remember like screaming into the void that all the things that we got in these years should have been started to be worked on here. And kind of funny. Uh, so January, February, and March, record-breaking months for funding. And it's not coming from me. I'm not buying hundreds of dollars of new ships and it's not the whales what we have here I think are a new generation of gamers the kids in high school back in 2013 and 14 who may have seen star season mentioned somewhere oh, have okay. graduated high school have gone on to complete four years of a degree and have entered the job for <laughs> the job force and are making professional money and now they have disposable income and they've stepped up over the past three years he and might be thrown right. money at this game. Um, it's the only explanation. There's a whole new generation of gamers coming up through the ranks who are more than happy to put money into this game because it's offering something new. And it's definitely offering something new. Star Citizen is very unique. I think it's more uh, 334 is where we're at. I think it's more, if you look at when the funding jumped, this is when the funding jumped, right? When people were out of work in 2020, everybody was home, working from home, didn't have anything to do, didn't, like, lots of more, uh, dis like, expendable time. Y you find what to do with it. I, like, did not game for a lot of years of my, like, middle school, high school, college years uh, other than, like, sports games like NHL, MLB, things like that. Um, because I was playing sports, like, at a fairly high level. And then I was playing poker at a fairly high level. The second poker went away, I had this, like, disposable time I didn't know what to do with. And I was like, oh, man, I used to spend so much time playing Ultima Online in high school. Like, that was, I guess that was the only game I did play. And... I went back to it and I found a guild and I found friends and I started playing. I feel like this was the big change. Not that these people graduated high school necessarily. It was a lot more people got eyes on something like star citizen and many other games because they were looking for it. Right. I think that's what happened there is. Um, and then that got the ball rolling and from there, it's kind of just been snowballing ever since. I think that's more of, like, what happened than anything. I, uh, I wish I remember the name of this YouTuber. I just had this on my recommend list. And I Salty Mike. It. And the guy was complaining about this. And oh, you, you no, can probably understand also. This YouTuber was complaining that there's no games out there which grab his attention like the old school MMOs. Now, I think he was talking about World of Warcraft where he put in his uh, 1,000 hours. It was Kira TV hours 1500 hours into the game he goes since then there's been no game which actually captured his attention and uh look it's the same problem we've all had you older gamers have had this too uh, it's very difficult finding a game that's going to grab you like things did in the old days but star citizen has been doing that for me and for all the guys sitting in my discord and all you guys on spectrum i know 
who love this game and play the PTU and the PU and in there all the time, Star Citizen is that game that's grabbed our attention because Star Citizen, and forgive me for saying this, is building the metaverse. <laughs> If you think about this whole thing, uh, I hate, first of all, I hate the term metaverse, all right? But if you think about it, this whole metaverse thing, every being video game now is as a the metaverse. Big thing, like, come on. Is what Star Citizen has been doing since 2012. They've been building out this metaverse. Um, and so uh, all, all these crypto and NFT and all these guys chasing the metaverse dream, it's yeah, CIG's been, CIG is way ahead of all of you. CIG, even though they don't do the NFT thing, is way ahead of everyone in this metaverse nonsense that they speak about, but we just don't call it metaverse. Uh, and so that's it. This it's new money coming in. It's, there's no other explanation for it. So we're looking at record-breaking quarter for 2022, and it's not even Invictus. When's Invictus end of uh, is May? One second. Invictus launch week uh, last week of May. So Invictus is the next big event that we'll be having. Uh, there's usually sales. I don't know if there's any new unannounced ships. And one unannounced ship just came out, which was the Expanse. Uh, this is oh, a refinery ship. My yeah. previous video was about this. Go check it out if you want to learn more about that ship. But there are several unannounced ships coming out. And uh, I have a feeling we will be seeing something during Invictus launch week, which will be the end of May. Or May what a feeling, Montoya. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. You know what? What a absolute god. They're going to sell something at Invictus that we haven't seen yet? No. Maybe these ships go up on sale or the concepts go up before of that. Uh, but without even needing those sales, we're breaking every single record this year. And so I have to ask, and this might sound crazy, but do you think we do a hundred, well, do you think we do a hundred million dollars? No. I would have thought 100 million would be crazy, would be an insane number. That, that makes no sense. 50 million, wild. 75 million, a stretch. But look at where we are right now for just the first three months of the year. This could be it. This could be the year that $100 million. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Montoya, watch show this again. is the year for Star Citizen. Uh, this could be the year where a hundred million dollars is done. And I would never have thought this possible back in 2014, 15. I thought that would be insane, but this could be it. And we haven't even had any huge new ship come out or be teased. Uh, I don't know what unannounced ships are being planned, but if there's something, bro, how can you say the expanse is not a huge ship? I th oh, he means size. Remember probably. like in the old days when the Idris came out or the Kraken yeah. came out, these are plus $1,000 ships. Uh, those are big sales. I don't know if there's a big sale coming out this year, even without any... There better not be, because they still haven't put in the original big ships. Yeah, they're in the game, like, they're Husk or whatever, but, like, people bought them and spent tons of money on them, and it's just, like, really... I think it's kind of obnoxious at this point to c continue to sell these massive, massive ships, and I'm sure they're going to do it, though, but I, I think it's obnoxious to sell the massive ships that they haven't even proven to the player base that they're capable of bringing in-engine... Um, with interiors, flying around. I think they brought the Javelin in with a limited interior, right? Um, but, yeah, it, it's... I'm curious what they're going to do at Invictus, because it's Invictus over year over year over year has been the step towards getting those things in. And I'm totally fine with them selling... I'm not fine with them selling stuff, but it, it's gone. Like, the, the whole... They, they're going to do it. It's Nothing could change it, right? Hopefully other aspects of the game um, fix the problems that they've created by selling so many ships. If Invictus proves that they can get these big ships in engine and us flying them around while moving around in the interiors and all those things, then I'm much more okay with them selling those. Um, but if they keep doing it without ever delivering, it's kind of, it, it just looks bad. Major sale, look at where we are. So fascinating to me that these are the numbers we are seeing coming in, and it's coming in from a new generation of players coming into the game, which is awesome to see. So uh, that's what I want to touch on, and I want to get moving on a couple of other videos. Also wanted to touch on the... Um, <laughs> so, well, on the 
separate topic. The Nerf gun you see here is going to be found in loot crates. I'm going to go out and try to find one as soon as possible because I love that. I haven't bothered buying it. Also, ship-to-ship -ship refueling is in. I have not tried that either yet, but it looks awesome. There was actually a post on Reddit just made about that some small changes coming in. Uh, Savrel CIG posting, they've increased the max flow speed for the fuel pods. They've increased the safe flow speed. They've reduced damage nozzle received. They've increased capacity for changes. the GSX dash HP. And I'm going to sit here and go like, as if I know what that means because I just haven't done refueling. But anyway, uh, 317 shipping up to be very interesting and a lot of fun. Uh, but let me stop over there, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on CIG doing $100 million for 2022. Post below. I want to know. I mean, it could happen, I guess. It could, but... Oh, and if you enjoy my content, sorry, thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, I will catch you in the next one. They just have to have, like, a massive Invictus. So we'll have to see. I don't know. I think that was interesting. It's, like... The more you look at it, how did all this happen? And I think it's pretty clear for me, it was a, a COVID thing that just started. Everybody started looking for something and CIG or Star Citizen, I should say, is just something that when you see it, it definitely draws you in. So there's no. It's not a surprise now looking back at the last couple of years of why there's been an explosion in funding is when you're looking for something to do with your time, man, Star Citizen at least looks interesting.